The following video outlines the water hardening disinfection procedure for muscalunge and walleye eggs best management practice. The steps outlined in this video have been taken from the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry Fish Culture Technical Bulletin and serves only as a guide to fish culturists conducting water hardening and egg disinfection. This video has been made courtesy of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry Community Hatchery Program. For more information on the Community Hatchery Program, please visit www.communityhatcheries.com. Eggs are externally disinfected at the green and or eyed stage to minimize the possibility of infection by bacteria, fungi, or parasites. External disinfection is not effective against most viruses, as these can be transferred inside the egg. Eggs should be disinfected during water hardening to help provide protection against viruses such as viral hemorrhagic septicemia, or VHS. Eggs become infected with viruses through the micropile, an opening in the egg which allows the sperm to enter the egg. When water hardening is complete, the micropile closes and the virus is sealed inside the egg. Any surface disinfection after water hardening is complete will not penetrate the egg and will not be effective at killing a virus inside the egg. It is important to remember that all eggs received from a wild or captive broodstock, another facility, or other outside source must be disinfected immediately on arrival at the receiving fish hatchery or rearing facility. The egg disinfection station in the receiving area should be separate from the incubation and rearing areas to prevent possible contamination. Two people should always be involved in the egg disinfection process. One person handles the eggs before they are disinfected and places the eggs in the disinfectant solution. The second person removes the eggs from the disinfectant and transfers the eggs to the incubators. The two people should be physically separated by a barrier, such as a counter. It is important that neither individual enters the other person's work area and that proper disinfection of hands, feet, all equipment, and the working area is done after the egg disinfection is finished. Eggs are very sensitive to changes in pH, dissolved oxygen, and temperature. Always monitor the pH of the disinfectant solution carefully during use. Oxygen levels in the disinfectant solution can be maintained by pouring the solution between containers from a height of 50 centimeters. This should not be performed while the eggs are in the solution or use of diffusers to aerate or oxygenate the solution. Water temperature during disinfection should not be allowed to change more than 30 Celsius at any time. Any change beyond this will cause egg mortality. Direct sunlight should be avoided if disinfecting outdoors. Disinfection of eyed eggs less than five days prior to hatch will also cause excessive mortality and or premature hatch. Muscalunge and walleye eggs are disinfected using an iodophore solution. Iodine is the active ingredient which kills the bacteria and viruses. Ovidine is the only iodophore approved for use in disinfecting fish eggs, and it is available without a veterinarian prescription. When used properly, ovidine is safe for fish eggs and equipment. Water Hardening Disinfection Procedure for Muscalunge and Walleye Eggs the equipment and supplies required are pails for eggs, measuring cylinders, volumetric, iodophore disinfectant, ovidine, an adequate supply of clean, pathogen-free water for water hardening and transportation of eggs. Pathogen-free water refers to water which is known to not contain any bacteria, viruses, or parasites that may cause fish diseases. Use groundwater from springs or wells. Do not use water from rivers or lakes. A stopwatch and tannic acid for walleye only. 1. Measure 10 liters of pathogen-free water into the pails in which the fertilized eggs will be water-hardened. 2. Add 50 milliliters of jug-strength ovidine to the water in the water-hardening pails to create a 50 milligram per liter solution of iodophore. Ensure enough ovidine solution is pre-mixed in advance. A minimum of twice the volume of ovidine solution to eggs is needed. 3. Spawn eggs into a dry pan, no water, and add an appropriate amount of milt to fertilize the eggs. A few drops of milt are sufficient. Gently mix the eggs and milt to ensure full distribution of the milt throughout the mass of eggs. 
Pathogen-free water may be added and mixed for one to two minutes to activate the milt. Four, rinse excess milt and any blood or feces off the eggs with a large amount of pathogen-free water. Five, if the eggs are adhesive and require use of a de-adhesive agent, add tannic acid, four grams of tannic acid per 10 liters of water from a stock solution and mix gently but thoroughly. Allow to sit for two minutes. Ensure the tannic acid is thoroughly rinsed off before the eggs are transferred to the iodophore solution. Double rinsing is most effective. 6. Pour off as much water as possible from the fertilized eggs. A strainer can be used, but it is important to minimize the time eggs are exposed to air. 7. Immediately add the pre-mixed 50 mg per liter solution of ovidine to the eggs. A minimum of twice the volume of ovidine solution to eggs is needed. If the ovidine solution turns pink in color, excess amounts of tannic acid remain in the eggs. Re-rinse the eggs to remove the remaining tannic acid and reapply the ovidine solution. 8. New eggs can be added to the ovidine solution for up to 25 minutes if needed, ensuring that the appropriate volume of ovidine solution is added. See Step 7. 9. Keep the eggs in the ovidine solution for a minimum of 30 minutes and no longer than a maximum total of one hour from the time the first eggs were added to the ovidine solution in step 7. 10. The iodine in the ovidine solution will be gradually reduced as it reacts with the eggs and organic matter in the water. Stir the eggs periodically to ensure that all eggs are exposed to the full concentration of ovidine solution. Add additional ovidine solution if needed to ensure the concentration remains as constant as possible. If necessary to prevent the eggs from clumping, a mudding compound, for example kaolin, fuller's earth, can be added to the eggs after water hardening in ovidine solution. 11. After the disinfection period has been completed, the pails of eggs are taken to the egg receiving room and the excess ovidine solution is poured off. Fresh, pathogen-free water is added to the pail of eggs to rinse off the remaining ovidine solution. Note, do not leave eggs in the ovidine solution for longer than a total of 60 minutes from the time the first eggs are added to the solution. 12. Continue to water harden the eggs in pathogen-free water for at least one more hour. 13. The eggs may have been exposed to pathogens after the ovidine solution has been removed and during the remainder of the water hardening process. If this is the case, disinfect the eggs externally using the surface disinfection procedure for muscalunge and walleye described below before measuring the eggs into the incubators. If you are confident that the eggs have not been exposed to contamination with a pathogen, you may measure the eggs into the incubators without further external disinfection. Surface Disinfection Procedure After Water Hardening for Muscalunge and Walleye Eggs The equipment and supplies required are Pails for eggs Measuring cylinders, volumetric Iodophore disinfectant, ovidine An adequate supply of clean, pathogen-free water for water hardening and transportation of eggs Pathogen-free water refers to water which is known to not contain any bacteria, viruses, or parasites that normally cause fish diseases. Use groundwater from springs or wells. Do not use water from rivers or lakes. And a stopwatch. 1. Mix an appropriate amount of ovidine solution for the volume of eggs to be disinfected. If a small number of eggs will be disinfected and the ovidine solution will not be reused, Make an ovidine solution that is at least twice the volume of eggs by adding 10 milliliters of jug strength ovidine for each liter of water to create a 100 milligram per liter solution of iodophore. If a large volume of eggs will be disinfected and the ovidine solution will be reused, mix approximately 10 liters of ovidine solution for each liter of eggs to be disinfected. Add 10 milliliters of jug strength ovidine for each liter of clean water to create a 100 milligram per liter solution of iodophore. 2. Measure water hardened eggs into incubator baskets or trays and immerse the eggs in the ovidine solution. Raise and lower the baskets a couple of times to be sure that the disinfectant is mixed through the eggs. 3. 
maintain a minimum of twice the volume of ovidine solution to eggs during the disinfection process. 4. A change in color of the ovidine solution from brown to light yellow indicates that the concentration of iodine has been reduced and a new solution should be prepared for disinfection of the remainder of the eggs. 5. Leave the eggs in the ovidine solution for 10 minutes. 6. After 10 minutes, move the baskets or trays containing the disinfected eggs to the incubators. 7. Be sure that fresh water is flowing through the eggs to flush the disinfectant from the eggs. Disinfection Procedure for Equipment Routine disinfection of equipment before and after use for any fish culture procedure is highly recommended. There are a variety of products on the market that are acceptable for this activity, including iodophores. 1. Disinfect all equipment used in the spawn collection, water hardening, and transfer of eggs to the incubators, including boats, nets, rain suits, footwear, clothing, egg containers, tables, etc. 2. Equipment can be disinfected with either a 10% chlorine bleach solution or a 250 mg per liter iodophore solution. Equipment that cannot be practically disinfected with a disinfectant solution should be completely dried and exposed to sunlight for two to three days. Note that the chlorine is a strong oxidation reduction agent and will damage skin and equipment made from metal. Use appropriate safety precautions. 2A. A 10% chlorine solution is made by adding 100 milliliters of chlorine bleach to 1 liter of clean water. Water containing a lot of organic material should be disinfected with a 25% chlorine bleach solution. Add 250 milliliters of chlorine bleach per 1 liter of water. 2B. A 250 milligram per liter iodophore solution is made by adding 25 milliliters of iodophore to 1 liter of clean water. Note that this recipe is based on an iodophore product containing 10% iodine. If an iodophore product with a different concentration of iodine is used, the amount of iodophore product added to the water will need to be increased or decreased. 3. Place all small equipment directly into the disinfectant solution for at least 30 seconds. 4. Wash larger equipment with the disinfectant solution and leave for at least 30 seconds. 5. Rinse the equipment with pathogen-free water. And 6. Clothing used during spawn collections and egg handling should be washed using normal household washing machines and dryers before being used again for spawn collections. Please note, dispose of the iodophore and chlorine solutions away from natural water bodies or water supplies. The Community Hatchery Program is a partnership between the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry and the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. For more information, visit our webpage at www.communityhatcheries.com.